In this video, we will be solving this question which says Coach Steroid likes his players to be big, fast and obedient. If player A is better than player B in two of these three characteristics, then Coach Steroid prefers A to B. But if B is better than A in two of these three characteristics, then Steroid prefers B to A. Otherwise, Steroid is indifferent between them. Wilbur Westinghouse weighs 340 pounds, runs very slowly and is fairly obedient. Harold Hotpoint weighs 240 pounds, runs very fast and is very disobedient. Jerry Jacuzzi weighs 150 pounds, runs at average speed and is extremely obedient. So let's first write down all this information that is given to us in a table form so that we are easily able to deal with the information and compare it. So thus your Wilbur Westinghouse would weigh 340 pounds is very slow and is fairly obedient. Likewise Harold Hotpoint weighs 240 pounds. He runs very fast and is very disobedient and Jerry Jacuzzi weighs 150 pounds. It has an average speed and is extremely obedient. So with this information we are asked does steroid prefers Westinghouse to hot point or vice versa. So thus we have to compare these two columns that is the one corresponding to Wilbur Westinghouse and the one corresponding to Harold hot point. Now in the question it is given to us that if player A is better than player B in two of these three characteristics then coach steroid prefers A to B. That implies for steroid to prefer Westinghouse to hot point Westinghouse has to be better in two of the three characteristics as compared to hot point so let's see if that happens and he wants his players to be big that means to have higher weight to run fast and to be obedient so here if we compare the weight then Westinghouse weighs much more than hot point let's put a tick mark here so that we, are, we know that Westinghouse is better when compared in the characteristic of weight let's compare the speed Westinghouse runs very slowly whereas hot point runs very fast and coach steroid wants his players to be fast which means if talked about speed he would prefer hot point as compared to Westinghouse and lastly you have a trait of obedience where your Westinghouse is fairly obedient and hot point is very disobedient but coach steroid likes his players to be obedient hence he will prefer Westinghouse to hot point when compared about the obedience. Again coach steroid would prefer player A to player B if he is better in two of the three characteristics. So if we compare we see that Wilbur Westinghouse is better in two characteristics which is weight and obedience as you can see that we have put two text in the column of Westinghouse and hot point is only better in speed. So Westinghouse is better than hot point in two of these three characteristics hence coach steroid would prefer Westinghouse to hot point. So the answer to this question is yes and through this we get the preference is as Westinghouse is preferred over hot Point. Now let's move on to the next part which says does steroid prefer hot point to jacuzzi or vice versa. Now we are asked to compare jacuzzi and hot point. So we will again repeat the same exercise that is we would be comparing the each of the player along these three characteristics and see which of the two player has higher tick marks. And now here I would be using the red ink so that we are able to distinguish between the previous part and the this part. As we can see that we already have a mark here so that we don't get confused. Now let's talk about the weight hot point weighs 240 pounds and jerry jacuzzi weighs 150 pounds and uh, coach steroid wants his players to be big that means he want the player to have a higher weight thus if talked about weight he would prefer hot point to jerry jacuzzi now what about the speed harold hot point runs very fast and jerry jacuzzi has an average speed but coach steroid wants his player to be fast so he would prefer harold hot point when compared to jerry jacuzzi in terms of speed and lastly we have the characteristic of obedience where harold hot point is very disobedient and Jerry Jacuzzi is extremely obedient and since coach steroid wants his players to be obedient thus he would prefer Jerry Jacuzzi over Harold Hotpoint when we talk about the 
ओबीडियंस एंड पोस्टेरॉइड वुड प्रेफर प्लेयर ए टू प्लेयर बी इफ ही इज गुड इन टू ऑफ द थ्री कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हेयर वेन वी टॉक अबाउट हेरल्ड हॉट पॉइंट एंड जेडी जकूजी वी सो दैट हेरल्ड हॉट पॉइंट इज बेटर इन टू ऑफ द थ्री कैटेगरीज वेन कंपेयर विद जेरी जकूजी दैट्स वाई हेयर द कोर्स वुड प्रेफर हॉट पॉइंट टू जेरी जकूजी सो अगेन द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज येस Let's move on to the next part which says the steroid prefer vesting house to jacuzzi or vice versa again we would be repeating the same exercise as we did in the previous two parts but now we would be comparing the vesting house with jerry jacuzzi so here vesting house weighs more than jerry jacuzzi as he has a higher weight so coach would prefer him but vesting house runs very slowly and jerry jacuzzi has an average speed so he would prefer jerry jacuzzi because he wants his player to be fast and lastly what about the obedience your vesting house is fairly obedient whereas jerry jacuzzi is extremely obedient so here jerry jacuzzi is preferred in two characteristics out of three here the coach would prefer jerry jacuzzi over vesting house so the answer to this question is no now let's move on to the next part which said does coach steroid have transitive preferences now what do you mean by transitive preferences so if your consumption bundle x1 x2 is weakly preferred over the consumption bundle y1 y2 and y1 y2 is weakly preferred over z1 and z2 then we assume that the consumption bundle x1 x2 is weakly preferred over z1 and z2 in other words if the consumer thinks that x is at least as good as y and that y is at least as good as z then the consumer thinks that x is at least as good as z so let's see what do we have from here we know that vesting house is preferred over hot point and from here we know that hot point is preferred over jerry jacuzzi so if the preferences were to be transitive then it has to be the case that vesting house should be preferred over jerry jacuzzi but here we learned that this is not the case so this statement is not holding true as it is in contradiction with this statement thus the preferences are not transitive for coach steroid now let's move on to the next part which says after several losing seasons coach steroid decides to change his way of judging players according to his new preferences steroid prefers player a to be player b so if player a is better in all three of the characteristics that steroid values and he prefers b to a and if player b is better in all the three things and he prefers b to a if player b is better at all the three things he is indifferent between a and b if they weigh the same are equally fast or are equally obedient in all other cases coach steroid simply says a and b are not comparable now note that here the preferences have changed a bit coach steroid says that he would prefer a to b if player a is better in all of the three characteristics he would say they are indifferent if they weigh the same are equally fast or are equally obedient in all other cases coach steroid says that a and b are not comparable so that means if one of the player is good in two of the three categories then also coach says that they cannot be compared whereas in the previous parts the coach steroid has the preferences where if the player is good in two of the three categories then he said that player a is better than player b so be very careful about how the preferences have changed from now onwards again the characteristics of all the players remains the same which is depicted in this table based on this information we are asked are coach steroids new preferences complete but what do you mean by complete preferences so by definition any two bundles can be compared that is given any x bundle and any y bundle we assume that the x1 x2 is weakly preferred to y1 y2 or y1 y2 is weakly preferred to x1 x2 or both in which case the consumer is indifferent between the two bundles so for that let's compare these two and if we are able to get vesting house is preferred to hot point based on the new preferences of the coach then we would say the preferences are complete else the preferences are not complete here vesting house weighs more than hot point harold hot point runs fast as compared to vesting house so he gets a point here and vesting house is obedient as compared to harold hot point now note that here vesting house is not better than hot point in all the three categories so we cannot say that vesting house is better than harold hot point 
also they are not equally fast they do not weigh same and they are not equally obedient that thus we cannot say the preferences are indifferent as well thus we are left with the last case where we say that these two are not comparable and if that is the case then we say that the preferences are not complete as he cannot compare westinghouse to hot point let's move on to the next part which says are coat steroids new preferences transitive again what do you mean by transitive preferences by definition if x1 x2 is weakly preferred to y1 y2 and y1 y2 is weakly preferred to z1 z2 then we assume that x1 x2 is weakly preferred to z1 z2 in other words if the consumer thinks that x is at least as good as y and y is at least as good as z then the consumer thinks that x is at least as good as z now for his preferences to be transitive according to coach steroid he would prefer player a to player b if player a is better in all the three characteristics than player b he would prefer player b to player c if player b is better in all the three characteristics than player c which implies he would prefer player a to player c then clearly player a would be better than player c in all the three characteristics hence he would prefer player a to player c and if this is the scenario then we say that the preferences for a coat steroid are transitive so the answer to this question is yes now let's move on to the next part which says are coat steroids new preferences reflexive so what do you mean by reflexive preferences by definition we assume that any bundle is at least as good as itself for preferences to be reflexive any bundle should be at least as good as itself so if i compare wilbur westinghouse with itself it would be as good as it is and likewise for harold hot point and jerry jacuzzi thus the preferences are reflexive